Let's hear it one more time for Team Atco. Yay! Yay! Yeah, good luck to them. Well, joining me, two more familiar faces, Sophie Rayworth and Amanda Burton. I tell you, Sophie, just listening to those stories, raising money for the RNLI and listening to Paul Vos and, and the challenges ahead, that's what today is all about, isn't it? Yeah, it's I mean, it's amazing the effort that people go to and the training that people put into to, to be here today to raise money for causes that you know they've supported for a long time. It's, it's extraordinary. And the people, the things that people go through, and, and man still managed to do this course. And it's hard work. It's a tough course. Yeah. And I guess it's what is inspiring about taking part today isn't it yeah, of course it is i think and also you know you can think why why are we back here doing this you know, why, why are you why are we doing this at, you know six o'clock this morning and then of course the minute you get done here and this collective group of people and raising hundreds of thousands of pounds and also the the joy and effort of being able to show what they they feel and care about the charity they're supporting and, and passed away loved ones etc etc that's what it's all about yeah you, you both ran it two years ago yeah, and for uh, yeah for the first time and you, you obviously enjoyed it oh, it was fantastic it was amazing i wanted i'd never done anything like it before and just to have a goal like that was brilliant and the day was amazing and just the atmosphere like today i mean it's it's great and you really want to be here I actually watched it at home last year. I was pregnant last year, so I couldn't come. And I sat at home on my sofa, four months pregnant, thinking, I just want to be there. I want to be there. So here I am. <laughs> and you're, you're back again. What was it that got you running? Was there, was there something that, that, that made you want to get out and run? I just think, yeah, it was, I needed to do something that year in particular to just really get me going and, and to be able to look for a goal. And uh, it was my big 5-0 that year. So I thought, right, I've got to mark this some way. And, uh, and then, of course, it's it's completely addictive after a while. You just think, yeah, okay, I'll do this again. I sprained my ankle last year, so I couldn't do it, but um, I wasn't pregnant like so. <laughs> Are you busy at the moment? Have you had time for training? Uh, well, yes, I've had time for training. I've been, I haven't been training as much as I should have been, as, as usual, but uh, yeah, I mean... Here I am. <laughs> yeah. Now he's probably looking after the kids, or is he running with you? Yeah, he's, here. he's here again. He always he comes. He's brilliant. He comes with me and runs alongside me. But he just goes. Well, he gets just a bit behind me to make me feel that I'm doing all right. If he goes ahead of me, then I think I'm going to be exhausted and can't do it. But no, he's here. And he lets you cross the finish line first. I think last year we came in at exactly oh. the same time. Excellent. <laughs> well, look forward to seeing you at the other end. 13.1 miles to go. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, lots of people.